In this video, I want to show you my top eight Waves plugins that will make your vocals sound powerful and radio ready all from your bedroom. Let's get it. Before we get into the mixing plugins, I'm going to be using their free utility plugin called Wave Studio Rack. And this Studio Rack plugin makes it easy so we can use Waves plugins on any DAW. So I can just type in the plugins I want to use and quickly use them and save macros, save presets. So the first plugin is called Waves Tune Real Time. So it is a pitch correcting plugin that will make your vocals stay in tune. All we got to do is change this to the key of the beat, which I know it's F minor. And we can move this speed note transition all the way up. We're just going to solo the vocal to see if it's the correct key. When it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. So I think it's a little bit too much. When it's too much, I just slow down the note transition. Say, when it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. Nowadays I'm not enough. I just wanna feel alright. I'm so sick of all the pain. Nice. My second favorite mixing plugin by Waves is the SSL EV2. This is a mixing powerhouse, and you can really mix a vocal just by using this plugin. So it is an EQ compressor, a noise gate, all built into one. I love it for the EQ and compression, so check this out. I'm gonna turn the analog off. And what I'm gonna do is just start boosting some of these EQs to get a rich, flavorful sound. Say. When it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. We can get rid of some of the low end, clean it up. Say, when it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. Nowadays I'm not enough, I just wanna feel alright. I'm so sick of all the pain. Oh, can we just fast forward in time to some better days? Whoa, say when it seems that you're out of love. So once you start seeing these little dots on here, that means you're compressing. You just want to use your ears for this. This is going to glue the vocal a bit more together. Say when it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. Say, when it seems that you're out of love. There's a lot you can do with this. I like that you're just really using your ears. I like the crispiness and clarity and the cleanness. Say, when it seems that you're out of love. See it in your face. So already with those two plugins, we have a tuned and crispy vocal. My third favorite mixing plugin by Waves is called Arvox. This is a plugin that's so easy to use and it will really help glue your vocal together so it can sit perfectly on beat. Check this out. When it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. Nowadays I'm not enough. I just want to feel alright. I'm so sick of all the pain. Nice. So when I'm pulling this compressor down, it's gluing it and bringing the vocal up. We're just sitting it where we want to in the mix with this gain. So we're bringing it down three and a half decibels without anything. My fourth favorite Waves mixing plugin is called the F6 RTA. Now this is a dynamic EQ and it's very powerful and amazing to use. You can relate it to the FabFilter Pro Q, which is a very expensive plugin. So I think it's great that Waves released a dynamic EQ. There's a lot you can do with this. I think the most important is that you can solo bands. So if I increase this mid range right here, I can solo it. And 
you can just keep soloing. You can really hone in on which frequencies sound good, which don't, and by soloing them, it's very powerful. So another thing is you can make them dynamic. So when frequencies are a bit too harsh or go over or a bit too loud, it will duck them. So check this out when we move threshold. Let's find an annoying frequency. So right there. So let's say when it reaches a certain point, we want to duck it a little bit. This is powerful because you don't always want to just duck and get rid of that frequency because it can make a vocal very thin. However, when it gets past a certain threshold or a certain volume, you want it to duck and control. That's the power of dynamic EQ. So let's say around right here, let's say the threshold So right here, you'll see that it'll make it dynamic. When it seems that you're all so that's adding more gain to that frequency. What we wanna do is get rid of it. So all you do is bring the range down. So whenever it gets past this certain threshold, it will duck it, watch this. When it seems that you're all and the range, the more range you give it, the more it's going to duck that frequency to clean it up. So this can be looked at as its own de-esser. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button down below. My fifth favorite Waves mixing plugin is the H Delay. I think this is one of the best delays there is because it, you can do a lot with it and it's very easy to use. So delay is going to add some excitement and stereo feel to your vocals or instruments. So I like starting at 1 8th, taking out some highs, taking out some lows, turning the analog all the way off and turning the dry wet knob down to about 12, let's see. When it seems that you're and turn it on ping pong. When it seems that you're out of love. See it in face. Nowadays I'm not And you can get a really cool wide vocal if you just turn the delay to like 164th. My sixth favorite Waves mixing plugin is the RDSer. I really like this because in a lot of vocals, there is annoying sibilance that is hard to control with the dynamic EQ, and you just want to make your vocals sound smoother. So this is the perfect mixing plugin. So all we're gonna do is change the type to this, and we're gonna keep the frequency around there, and we're just going to move this threshold until it smooths out the vocal. When it seems that you're Nice, that really smoothed it out. All right, my seventh favorite Waves mixing plugin is called the Abbey Rhodes Saturator. This is a powerful plugin to really add grit, depth, power, and crispiness to your vocal, but I haven't even changed anything, and you'll see that it adds an insane crispiness. When it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. Nowadays I'm not. Obviously that's a bit too much, but it sounds pretty cool. So I like this because it has a ton of presets to use. We can go through artists and try to find vocal enhance. When it seems that you're out of love, see it in your face. Nowadays I'm not Ooh, 
it sounds nice. For that plugin, I just like using presets. My eighth favorite Waves mixing plugin is called the Abbey Road Plates. This is an incredible reverb to really add space to your vocal to sit better in the mix. Check this out. this plugin because it has organized presets and you can go to vocal and just try some different ones and the dry and wet knob will not move I like going through presets where I set the dry and wet knob so it doesn't move and then I can just easily go through presets So those are my top eight. Please comment down below what is your favorite Waves plugins. I'm really excited to hear. And if you're interested in any of these eight plugins, I will link them all in the description below. And I just wanna say thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. And if you guys are interested in any of our Waves presets, we have a bunch. You can check them out in the description below. Oh, if you're interested into watching me create a Waves vocal chain from complete scratch, you gotta check out this video here.